So good morning, welcome back to another video. We are currently on the bike path out of Cossington. We're heading to Bridgewater Bay and the Stewart Marshes, I think that's how you say it. And then we're gonna head back into the Quantox and take on an unknown climb. It's, well, we call it the unknown climb because it hasn't got a name, but me and Pete did it back along and it was a spectacularly beautiful climb. And then we're gonna have coffee at the Foxy Bean. I think there's about eight of us, nine of us. I've lost count. Been too busy yapping to Kev all the way here. Uh, it looks like a great day. And uh, there's something that in researching this ride at the Stiet Marshes I found, which if it comes off, could be epic for cycling. Right, so obviously to get to Bridgewater Bay, you have to go through Bridgewater. So I've picked the most picturesque route, and that is through the canal. Oh, and now I've got to go up a hill, and I might be in the wrong gear holding the camera. <laughs> this vlog lock ain't easy, you know. Oh. Uh. This is a bit epic, isn't it? I like oh, this. Yeah, this is lovely. We've got the river parrot over to our right that goes all the way to into the centre of Bridgewater. And we're off to the Stuart Marshes on this bridal way, which has got us away from all the traffic. It's tiles as well, Kev. This is all tiles. You'd have never known this was here. No, you wouldn't. I didn't know it was here until, uh, until I was looking at some maps. But uh, it is very windy though, and we're going into a headwind. So we are now in the Stiet Marshes. We're heading towards what I think is the coast. We can see Brent Knoll and Crooks Peak in the distance. So we're just about to see Bridgewater Bay in all its glory. Uh, and then I'll tell you about this exciting project about a lagoon in Bridgewater Bay that would be really brilliant. For, well, it'd be absolutely epic for cyclists, let's, let's be honest. The future's bright, Darren. The future's, future's orange. orange. <laughs> We, we got a fan club. Hello. Just poking the red through the hedge there. That's the end of the road then. Just, Justin wants to stop back off at the um, the viewing platform back there that was up on the bank. I thought it was going to be a better view on the further point here, but no. Yeah, you can go that way. We won't complain. We won't tell anyone. The cows might. Whose stomach is that? <laughs> That's you, Holty. Yeah. That's the curry I had last night. <laughs> right, so the exciting bicycle news. There is plans to build a lagoon from Stiet Marshes here across Bridgewater Bay to Breen Down, of which, when I was looking at the research in this route, shows a cycle path all across it. So you could actually cycle from here through the sea to Breen Down. And then the more I started digging to find out if it was actually true, I found out that it's just one of the proposals on offer. There's even one from Cardiff to Weston. If you could cycle from Cardiff to Weston through the sea across the River Severn, through the sea across the River Severn, either way, through the water, how awesome would that be? I mean, have a look at this. I mean, this, this is the planned video. It's absolutely mind-blowing that this could happen. I'm quite excited. Hopefully it happened in my lifetime. All to do with green efficiency and hydropower for electricity. So it's all good, all win. Cycling's green, why not? Get it done. Who cares if it's billions of pounds? Not quite what we thought, Justin. Yeah, <laughs> the, the beach is still a way away. It is quite a way away. We're not gonna be able to see the, um, see the bay anyway then. We need to be taller. Anyway, <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> I'm thinking you 
Oh, cattle grid. Uh, we are now on the Quantock climb that we don't actually know the name of. The road doesn't have a name. The second didn't really have a name. We just know it as the most spectacular climb in the Quantocks. It is beautiful. I've done it with Pete. I've now brought the gang up here and I'm struggling to breathe already. So over to the B-roll. <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, how was that for a climb? Was that not the most spectacular climb in the Quantox? Maybe. Very lovely. Maybe? Yeah. Very nice. You like that, Kev? Yeah. It's better than that one. It is better than that one. Do you want a camera running? Yes. I think coming on. Is that all the sweat? <laughs> Why is it not windy up here when we're at the highest point and it's been really windy down by the coast? I have no idea, but uh, Crocom Coombe. So, if you want to come up to Crocom Coombe, that's the way to come up. We have no idea what it's called, but the news, well, I've got two bits of news that the gang will be very happy about. One, there are no more climbs. Two, we're going downhill to the cafe for coffee and whatever sustenance they fancy. I have heard the word bacon mentioned. <laughs> Look at my order number. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Uh, <laughs> so what do you tell Rachel you have when you come out then? <laughs> um, not a lot. <laughs> not that I'm buying all this. Just, just a coffee, Rachel. Right? Yeah. Just a coffee. What have you got today? Um, muffin, a bacon muffin and a caramel shortbread and a tea. You've doubled up. I have. I've earned it. <laughs> do you, um, you know where the nearest phone signal is? It's back at the top of Crocom. No. You, you're going to have to cycle back up. We'll wait. No, no, no. What's right? You might as well go down the other side and come back up. No, the proper no. Crocom. Do you know what? Kev, Kev said he'd come. I haven't done it yet. We'll go. I'll go. We've been waiting for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the coffee stop done. We've now got about 35, 40k to go. Mainly downhill, mainly flat. And we're going via the canals back through Bridgewater again. So let's hope nobody falls in, especially in this wind. But it is flat and downhill, which just doesn't seem right after a cafe, I'm somewhere but hey. In the middle, try to find myself again, but life is one big riddle, of the future and what's been, cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it Yeah, it is a watch your head Watch your head Yeah. <laughs> hey gents, Hello. have you been that way before on the canals? Hello, that was very good. Did Hello. you enjoy that? And we didn't go on any, because I hate the bit where you go from our neck of the woods to the bridge Yeah. Normally you have to cycle through the middle of the traffic. This is a, a nightmare. Yeah, it's a, it's a new way into Bridgewater and a new way out of Bridgewater. Yeah. The 
right, thank you, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, very different. Very good. Beautiful. And a nice tailwind and downhill all the way home, as I promised. Brilliant. Well done, thank you. Thank you very much. A yeah. sausage roll. Mm -hmm. A sausage roll. All right. Oh, at the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Where else are you worried? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you've got in that bag. You said you oh, had a two week old tiff in there earlier. Oh, yeah. That's not in there. Finn will be to it this one. What, the two week old? No, the sausage roll. Oh, she likes the sausage roll. She loves the sausage roll. Not the two week old tiff in. No. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, next week, we have a very special ride. We're off to Stonehenge and a secret village. Um, we'll tell you more about that next week. But we will see you in the next video.